Okay, just for anyone that's interested, um, I'm based over in the UK and Apple just dropped the uh, the update for the, the Apple Watch so that you can use the um, the ECG on uh, on this watch. Um, so I'll just show you how that goes. Um, so you to rest your finger on the on the crown there and it takes 30 seconds. So I'll just speed this up. Okay, so that's that done, and it's just saying there it does not so show any signs of atrial fibrillation. Um, today's Monday, Saturday. I was I was showing uh, my my father this facility, and he said, "Well, I actually have atrial fibrillation. He's on medication for it." And so I said, "Well, okay, we'll we'll try the uh, the watch on on him and see if it picked it up." So uh, and it actually did, did it twice, and it picked it up twice, and. Uh, I'll just switch over to the uh, phone screen recording and we can have a look at what it actually shows you um, when it does pick it up. Okay, so there you can, you can see the atrial fibrillation result. And if you click on the graph there, you can, you can see the sort of irregular heartbeat. Um, also allows you to export this actual result as a, as a PDF and you can actually email it to somebody, and that's your doctor or, or whatever. Um, so just just share that and then um, that's uh, actually good to go. Um, but yeah, I just thought that would be uh, useful because not everyone will have will have seen this actually picking up. Uh, I'm sure you've you've tried it, but um, you won't actually know what it actually shows you um, if you were to have virtual fibrillation. So hope that was useful.